In this video, we're going to look at how to use i18n to localize our application the way Google Maps and Facebook does, and where My Vitel comes up short. As you can see in the screencast below, depending on the user's phone settings, the application will localize. The My Vitel app fails to localize to the user's phone's language settings. So we're going to look at one approach on how to implement this for our application. In order to implement this, we're going to use Expo for React Native in our library called X React Native i18n. You can find this package at npmjs.com under the name X React Native i18n for Expo. To install, we'll copy this line right here. Next, we'll run this command npm install X React Native i18n. This may take a few minutes depending on your machine and internet connection. Okay, now that's done, let's go ahead and run npm install. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and start our packager. I'm going to run expo start, open up a new terminal window, and start my simulator by running expo iOS. Okay, everything seems to be working well. We're going to change this line right here, line number eight. We're going to say hello world. If we refresh the simulator, you can see we have it right here, but that isn't good enough. Our phone's language setting is set to Vietnamese. So how can we get this to work for Vietnamese users as well as English users? I'm gonna add a new folder to the root of the project. I'm gonna call it locales. Inside of this directory, I'm going to add a file called index.js. Okay, there's three important things we need to do here. First, we need to import the library that we're going to use. Import library. Next, we're going to import our local translations. Afterwards, we're going to create a function that looks at the current user's phone settings for language and sets the application to that. Lastly, we're going to export the module that we create. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is import i18n. Next, I'm going to import localization from Expo. Now we need to have our translations. In order to do so, we're going to create two new files, vi.json as well as en.json. I'm going to go ahead and add it to our locales directory. This file will have one object. This object will have a mapping of key value pairs for our translations. We'll do the same thing for English. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and import them. I'll do the same thing for Vietnamese. And I forgot to mention one more step. We need to bind these translations to I18n. Don't worry if you don't understand the syntax, this is just ES6 and you can just follow along for now. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always comment below and I'll be happy to answer. 
Now, we're going to define a function which looks at the user's phone's settings for language and then sets it for application. Okay, the function looks good. Now, we just need to call it. Lastly, let's export this for use in other parts of our application. Okay, we'll go over one more time what we're doing. On lines two through three, we're importing some libraries to use. On lines six through seven, we're importing our translations that we made. On lines 10 to 13, we're mapping these translations to I18N. On lines 16 through 24, we're looking at the current user's phone settings for language. We're grabbing that data and then we're applying it to I18N. Lastly, on lines 29 through 31, we create a function called t, which takes an argument name and passes that argument to i18n. Now we're ready to use it. Okay, we'll jump back to app.js and import the locales that we just created. We'll save the file. Refresh the simulator, and it seems like nothing is broken. Okay, now comes the fun part. On line 10, we're going to change hello world to use our locale translation that we created. I'm going to delete it, call the function, and pass it the argument of the key that we want. Okay, so you can see that it works. Seems like everything is okay. Xin chào, taza. We'll do one more. And you can see that the translation is missing, but we can easily fix this. All we got to do is jump into vi.json and add the appropriate key. If I save and refresh, we can see that it works right here as well. Obviously, we'll need to do the same thing for English. Okay, we can't see anything right now. So let's change our phone setting. Let's jump back into the application. And we can see that if the phone's set to English, the translation also works for English. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye.